Hello, it's Jason Payne Cool Banker, Dean Op Realtors. Today I'm in front of the community of the Rock and Jay Ranch, just south of Blanco, Texas. I'm out here because in this community you can buy your a lot, usually like a quarter to one third acre, some of them a little bit larger, and then bring your own builder in. And uh, it's a great way if you want to do like a custom home, but you don't want to spend the big bucks to get the big house done. So uh, I thought it would be a good idea to do a little motorcycle tour of the community, just to kind of show it off. All right, let's go for a ride. A realtor ride. All right, we're right out front of the main gate. This is 281 right next to us, and Blanco is heading north. So, uh, yeah, we're probably about 25 minutes away from like Spring Branch. But yeah, beautiful entry to this community. I do like the trees. So, yeah, if you're looking for a place to uh, be quiet. Uh, Blanco is a very small little town. This is not one of those upscale, super duper fancy neighborhoods. Uh, so you can see a lot of smaller homes, uh, but being able to bring your own homes builders in is really nice, especially if you're trying to save a buck. And some of these other communities like Vintage Oaks or Bell Oaks in the uh, closer to San Antonio have these different build restrictions. This, uh, of course, there can be some restriction here, not bringing in a mobile home or nothing, but uh, they're not the full one acre lots, although some of them probably are. It's a pretty good sized community. That's a beautiful home there. Uh, big selling point is the tax rate. Uh, this tax rate is 1.43, which is insanely low, uh, especially considering everything else is usually around 2% in the New Braunfels slash Bernie area but yeah you get down into Bear County and now all of a sudden you're talking 2.8 percent so 1.43 is insane so we're still on the main drag so you see quite a bit of traffic here them trying to keep me below I mean at 30 miles an hour I'm like okay I'm doing 30 I'm good But yeah, Everview, uh, they had built a house out here that they're trying to market. And they, su the builder suggested this might be a good spot for my uh, one of my clients to build. So I thought I'd come out and get some more information because I've never been out here before. Uh, Blanco is usually not my stomping grounds. My real estate license does cover all of Texas, but this isn't the area I'm an expert at. But I'm a pretty quick learner. Um, there are some homes available to be purchased. Oops, stop sign. All right, I want to get off this uh, main drag. Let me go this way. There's not going to be big lazy rivers or none of that stuff going on here like at Vintage Oaks. But uh, it's just uh, if you want to build something and be out in the country a little bit, it's a good spot. Um, it is going to be on propane. Uh, if you wanted to put natural gas in, you have to put your own, bring your own propane tank in, and it's going to be uh, aerobic uh, septic. Some of these homes are really nice. I can't say the roads are really nice. This is these roads are a little bit beat up, but you can't have everything. There's somebody who has an above ground propane tank. But uh, yeah, I think the golf course is the next road up. One of the house I just videoed backs up to the golf course, which is really nice if you want that view. But it looks like a lot of these houses, you're gonna have uh, nice privacy behind you anyways. Oh, okay, they got a little casita over the garage. Um, that's kind of neat. So there are quite a few custom home builders or builders that do build on your own lot that would love to come out here and if you purchase the lot and I know these lots are considerably cheaper than say Vintage Oaks or Bell Oaks where you're looking at 180,000 I have not pulled up the price sheet to see what these lots are so if you like what you see here I can definitely pull that up and find out what these lots go for But yeah, I see power lines are above ground here. Uh, 
let's see where this road takes us. That's a nice looking house. People out walking their dogs. All right, there's a golf course back there. I uh, see a lot of people with golf carts in this community because they like to go to work, come home, and play around the golf pretty much in the backyard. And all these homes here would literally be backing up to the golf course. Ooh, some nice Harleys. And it looks like there's some lots here that are probably on the market. Oh, I see some deer running. You are going to see a lot of deer out here. But that's what you get in the Texas Hill Country. All right, well, I don't want to go too much into the neighborhood. Uh, not HOA fees, I think, are pretty cheap, too. I think they were like three-something a year. So not real bad about that. But there's quite looks like there's quite a few pre-existing homes on the market in here as well. Uh, yeah, roads aren't the bestest, but you can bring your own builder in, shoot a little golf, but that uh, tax rate is going to be hard to beat at 1.43 if that was a big deal. And yeah, you can pretty much see that house didn't have any stone on it at all. So you can kind of do, uh, I guess within reason, mostly whatever you want to do. So that's kind of neat. All right. That's about enough of me just kind of driving around here aimlessly. Uh, if you like this video at all, if you like my channel pretty much, I know this video is not going to be the greatest video of more golf, of course. Uh, but I just want to put some information out there for my client who might be wanting to move this to this neighborhood. And, uh, oops, let me turn. And uh, he's never been here before. I've never been here before, so I told him I'd come get some information. And if I'm getting some information for him, I might as well get it for everybody else. All right, hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye. All right, before I let you go, I just noticed a beautiful pond back there. That's kind of cool. Really nice. What is it? Hill Country Dream Homes. Okay, another builder there. But yeah. I wanted to get that because, uh, well, I guess this golf course just runs all through this community. So it's like a community built all around this golf course. All right, there's the driving range. All right, now for realsy, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. All right, take care now. Bye.